Hello, my name is Benjamin Berger, and this week I'm featuring a really interesting new fossil from China. There's a recent paper published in Nature this week describing an unusual fossil from the late Triassic Gaoling group uh, of China, uh, a layer of fossil-rich, shallow marine uh, shales that are well known for exceptional fossilization and preservation of marine reptiles, including ichthyosaurs, thylacosaurs, and placodonts, some of which kind of closely resemble uh, turtles. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. This late Triassic fauna of marine reptiles gives us a, a really unique window into the evolution of marine reptiles during the, the first third of the Mesozoic. Around the same time that the dinosaurs were originating uh, on land. Now, the origin of turtles has been a contentious issue. Paleontologists have proposed three ideas for turtle origins. The first idea is that turtles originated from a, a very early primitive reptile that exhibited no holes uh, in the skull beyond the orbit or eye socket. Um, this hypothesis contends that turtles are the sole survivors, are members of this early group of reptiles. They're called the anapsids, meaning no holes. The second idea is that turtles originated from an early reptile that exhibited one hole in the skull uh, behind the orbit or eye socket. Uh, this hypothesis contains that turtles are actually more closely related to mammals than to reptiles, as mammals arose from this group of reptiles that had only one hole behind the, the eye socket. And this is termed the synapsid hypothesis. The third hypothesis, or the third idea, is that turtles originated from an early reptile that had two holes in the skull behind the eye socket, and that turtles are within the same group as lizards and snakes. They have two holes, both of those groups have two holes, hence turtles are then considered more closely related to lizards. And this is termed the diapsid hypothesis, which basically means the two-hold hypothesis. Now, historically, paleontologists like Alfred Romer advocated that turtles originated from this group of no-hold primitive reptiles that didn't have any holes beyond the eye socket sometime in the early Triassic. The oldest turtle known at that time was uh, Prague Anachelius from the Norian Late Triassic of Germany dated to around 210 million years ago. Now, the fossil had a complete shell. Uh, it lacked any holes in the skull like modern turtles. And it was argued that turtles arose from a group of very primitive reptiles that also did not have any holes uh, beyond the eye socket in uh, the back of the skull sometime in the early Triassic. And basically that's kind of what I was taught in school. Now, the idea of turtles uh, originating from a holeless or anapsid ancestor uh, gained further support when in 2008, a new fossil was found from the late Triassic of China called Odontocheles, uh, which was uh, 10 million years older, uh, dated to around 220 million years ago. Now, Odontocheles had only a plastron, that's the bottom part of the shell, and it didn't have a ossified top part of the shell or the carapace, uh, which was formed by the expansion of the ribs, the belly ribs and the rib cage on the back. Now, the preserved skull lacked any holes, so there's no holes in the skull like modern turtles, and paleontologists had no reason to think that turtles were anything else than an anapsid reptile. This really started changing in 2015. An even older fossil was found in Germany called uh, Papa Shellius from the Middle Triassic about 240 million years ago, or about 30 million years older than Prognus Shellius, the first turtle with, with well-developed sh uh, shell. 
Now, a number of specimens were found and they reconstructed the skull, showing that the animal had teeth and it had two holes in the skull, but it also had broadly expanded ribs, kind of indicating a relationship with turtles. Now, this fossil supported an origin from the diapsid or two hole group of reptiles. And it was suggested that sometime between 240 and 220 million years ago, the two holes in the skull were lost in this lineage of primitive turtles. Now, interestingly, researchers uh, noticed a relationship between the turtle-like placodon marine reptiles, which had a single upper hole, but lacked the lower hole. Uh, this derived condition is called a uriapsid condition, where the lower hole uh, is lost. It was now thought that placodons, which resembled turtles, were related to them because they showed an intermediate transition between the two holes uh, found in the diapsid condition of these earliest turtles, Papachelius, and the zero hole uh, condition found in Odontoshelis and uh, Proganochelis. The new fossil from China is dated to around 230 million years ago, right between this transition. Now, the skull is damaged and the authors of the paper interpret the skull as having lost the supertemporal fenestra or the upper hole and retaining only the lower uh, hole, which is really weird since previously it was thought that the lower hole was the first to be lost since placodonts only have the upper hole, the uriapsid condition. So this was something very different. Now I begin wondering if this new fossil was not an early turtle, but a different creature altogether. Now, during the Permian, about 270 million years ago, there was an ancient group of large synapsid reptiles, meaning that they only had one hole, and it was actually the lower, more lower down on the skull. Now, among this group of synapsids, or the one holes, <laughs> were the uh, Caesidae, a group of big-bellied reptiles that have kind of like large tanks. Some of them got to be about two meters long. Some of them actually were also aquatic, moving into the oceans and paddling using broad hands and feet uh, in the water. Now, given the feature of this new fossil, this new marine fossil, which is considerably larger than any previously described stem rep, uh, turtle, um, and exhibiting a body plan that's very similar and very reminiscent of these Permian, this ancient Permian family, I begin wondering if this fossil could be possibly uh, a casid. Now there's one thing in the morphology of this animal that indicates that it may be more closely related to turtles, and that is these broadly shaped thickened ribs that it exhibits, which are not found in the caesidid uh, family. Um, and some of the features of the pelvis also seem to indicate a relationship with turtles. Now the caesidae, of course, went extinct um, during the late Permian. And if this fossil was a member of that ancient group, it would indicate a 40 million year extension of the group uh, into the Mesozoic and surviving through the Permian-Triassic mass extinction event. Now, furthermore, phylogenetic analysis does not show any support for this fossil to have been related to casid synapsid reptiles. Uh, but found them to be grouped within stem turtles, like Odontoshelis and Papachelis, uh, despite differences in the skull and this much larger body size that this fossil exhibited. However, no placodonts, interestingly enough, were included in their uh, analysis. Now, researchers have noted that this is the first stem turtle to actually exhibit a beak, uh, much like what you find in modern turtles. In any case, this new fossil called Eorychnoshelis uh, will add to the complexity on the issue of the origin of turtles and is a really weird fossil. Thanks for watching. I hope to add new videos each week to my YouTube channel about geology and paleontology. So be sure to subscribe 
so you get a notification of my newest videos and I will see you next week.